Damn, we've got to capture the headquarters. We're okay. Lo we're losing the headquarters. We oh, lost you, that. You oh, lost. Geez. You got a shot in the head. I don't care. No, I, that doesn't matter. This is headquarters. Headquarters and, and what hot new video game is this? This is the hottest new video game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Oh, I see. Uh, running on a PlayStation 4 here, and this seems cool. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is cool. Yeah, that was a good game. Uh, yeah. I, and I, I don't, I wonder, like, what the longevity of this will be for me. Uh, but, like, here, like, level 4, level 5, just starting out, playing a few matches, this seems kind of awesome. Um, oh, That's heartening to hear, because in my no, mind, no, I would no. always think that this would hold up, but it's been so damn long that you can never really trust your brain with yeah, that. Yeah, I, and I, I'm not sure if it'll hold up, like, long term or anything like that, but... You know, these first few matches of getting back in here and seeing these maps again, it's it's pretty cool. Is it pretty much Call of Duty 4 multiplayer? Yeah, so they've they've added uh, stuff to it. Um, the, you know, the the uh, uh, medals and stuff you would earn, or the like for hey, you got a long shot kill, or hey, you you here's a comeback, right. here's a buzz kill, you know, like that stuff's in here. They've got like calling cards and emblems and stuff like that, um, huh. and a few new things around that sort of stuff, but. Gameplay-wise, it seems seems right on. I don't know. And progression-wise, uh, it's yeah. I mean, I haven't unlocked the ability to create a class yet, so okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it, is there a guitar that plays when you level up? Yeah. Okay. Does that sound good? It sounds the same. Okay. Good. So yes. <laughs> I love these early levels, uh, like whenever you proceed or when you first start, because you're just leveling up like almost every damn match. Uh, I've that has not been my experience no? just yet, but uh, I feel like at least the first few levels like don't you hit like you're level four like how much have you played here? Uh, I guess not that much. Okay, I guess maybe not that much I mean versus you know once you get way up there, right it's yeah, yeah forever to get to one new level Did you ever prestige back yeah. in the day? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. I like that idea it made sense uh, for the type of game they were making, uh, and I think like it's been good in some games and and kind of lame in others. Yeah, uh, you know it became very. What's up? Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. It's got a lot of these classic maps. It's got the modes you want. You know, like like they don't put headquarters into these games anymore. It's all hard point now. Right, right. And I remember really liking headquarters. So. It's a good mode. Um, have they gone back and put anything like like kill confirmed or later modes into this? I don't. Think, you know, let's we'll check when okay. I get out of this match here. And and I just leveled up enough to. Oh yeah. Jeez. You can get him. You can get him. There we go. Um, I just le I leveled up enough to unlock create a class. So. Okay. Cool. Uh, we can get in there and look at some of that stuff. Uh, yeah, so I have not been doing great also. <laughs> like, that's the, the other thing that's been happening uh, since last night, is that I have, uh, yeah, not been playing super well. You'd have to imagine that all the people that went as hard as possible on it when it first came out, for years and years past, maybe when you stopped, are now getting this and they're jumping in. What maybe, do you think? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. At some point, this game became somewhat unplayable on a lot of platforms due to cheating. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, like we we already looked at the campaign in another video, so we're not gonna look at that here yeah. again. But uh, this game, this was a huge game oh, for yeah. a reason. You know, it, it innovated a lot of things around competitive shooters, and and you know, everyone stole stuff from this game. Oh yeah, uh, right, rightfully so. Like it was highly influential, huge. I mean, pretty much every big series, uh, like, you know, Battlefield, uh, you know, went to... to stab that guy, but... <laughs> Battlefield and Medal of Honor both went to Modern Combat uh, after this. Although, I guess you could say Battlefield 2. I mean, that was called yeah. Modern Combat, right? Right. Well, uh, no, just the console version was. But Battlefield 2 was a modern game. Right, right, yeah. But, like, perk-wise and progression-wise and the way multiplayer is structured seem to change dramatically once Yeah, I mean, out. every, you know, a lot of games that were not shooters also started thinking about loadouts and prestiging and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was huge. 
I can't remember. Were there any emblems in call signs before? I don't that think po so. I think that's new. I feel like didn't Black Ops like go pretty crazy with all that stuff. Like I know Modern yeah. Warfare 2. Yeah, I think had Modern that Warfare stuff. 2 had them. I think that might have been the first game to have them. Black Ops 2 is when they started doing like create your own emblems and stuff like that. And yeah. Stuff happened there. I think Black Ops 1 even had. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. These guns feel good? Uh, not yet. No? Let me unlock some fucking sights and stuff. Reflex sights? Yeah. Yeah, like, I, you know, I, I'm a little... I'm, I'm split on whether maybe this would have been cooler. Well, well it's, it's a minor thing, I guess. But, like, you know, maybe, like, hey, just unlock create a class from the start, like they do in all the other games now. Right. Uh, instead of sticking to this, hey, when you get to level four, you can create a class. Like... We know what that is now. I think if you change too much, uh, you're gonna alienate the people that this is for, which I think is people that liked it originally. Yeah. And I think by adding emblems and call signs, you know, that's not really affecting the way the game plays right. or progresses. Yes. I think once you switch into like loadout and unlock order and stuff like that, that's when yeah, it gets Are dicey. You ever do the thing when a match first starts and you just chuck two grenades in the general location of where the, the bad guys might be? Not, I mean, yes, For at, at a point in my life I did do that yeah. from time to time, but... Sometimes that worked. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Ugh. <laughs> I got really, this this ended up being my gun of choice for a lot of this game, was the, the three-shot yeah, burst. burst. Yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I, I was this in the light machine guns. Like, I really like light machine guns. Yeah. I hate reloading, and you don't have to do that much. Well, you, you get, like, you know, P90s with the fire rate increase. That was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, you just that was late. crazy with it? Yeah, that was definitely late. Yeah. Also, I feel like I've seen the most voice chat I've seen in years in this game. Really? Which is a little weird. Huh. Like, more so than in other Call of Duty, which we'll look at in a little bit here. Actually, we'll probably just... We'll look at this... Yeah, 5 and 22. That's hot shit right there. <laughs> it's gangster. Um... The music on the menus and stuff like that. Like, it's it's cool to see all this shit again. This looks like Call of Duty 4. Also, does this dude look like John Cena? He, I was just thinking that. Like, young, yes. young John Cena, older totally. John Cena, right? Totally, yes. I'm not crazy. Yes. And then you got this this dude over here doing whatever he's doing, but then it's just... <laughs> That's, yep, yep. Yeah. All right, okay, good. That's definitely all Cena. Right. Uh, okay, let's look and see. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, kill, kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. So okay, cool. That's neat. No one's playing it. I, that's <laughs> you know, and maybe that's the weirdest thing about all this is by putting out two Call of Duty games at the same time with all of these different modes and all these different multiplayer hoppers. It seems like some of these modes will go largely unplayed. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of crazy. Well, even outside of Call of Duty, there's just so many shooter options right now, oh, specifically. Yeah, totally. yeah. Like, it's insane right we now. We unlocked a new emblem. Yeah, that's pretty good. Be that bird. Uh, all right. So, all we've got is the... This is organized differently. I don't think you had the, like, L1, R1 tabs at the top before. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe I eventually just became a G36C guy. That mm. might have been how it went for me, now that I think about it. Lower accuracy and fire rate, higher damage with that AK. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm on full auto, so I'm gonna Is there a three go round, uh, is that the only three rounds? The M16? Yeah, the M16. Okay, yeah. I think I did stick with that for a long time. Yeah. Uh, this is single fire, single fire, yeah. And this is before uh, weapon specific challenges, right? And weapon levels and all that? Didn't you have to use the weapons to unlock attachments for the weapons? I thought they eventually got that way. So like, oh, if you got yeah. 10 kills no, with no, this, that, you that, get the That's what it is. Side. It's 20, it is 25 years. This okay. is what it was originally. Okay, yeah. okay. Is use the gun to get the stuff for the gun. But then there's uh, still the like the big challenge section, right? That's like, oh, random. That's the stuff that's like, you know, and jump and die. And yeah, the challenge is stuff I think unlocks at level five. So we might not be able to okay. even see that. Gotcha. Uh, so we got some camos here. Complete all camo challenges for this weapon for gold. Hmm. Go with a desert AK. Uh, 
I thought I would uh, be playing a bunch of this last night, but it turns out this is still a huge file. It's like 47 gigs on PS4. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's yes. I was downloading, uh, it said it was gonna be like eight or nine hours last night, so I did not play this yet. Mm -hmm. And you cannot shoot down UAVs here. Right, you can shoot down the helicopters though. Yes. Uh, I, I, well, yeah, I mean, unless they added that, I looked in the sky when a UAV was up because I was curious to see if maybe they threw that in there. <laughs> Uh, stopping power or juggernaut? Hmm. Uh, they're both really good. I eventually went with double tap and P90 uh, oh, in, in a lot of cases because it just, you just dump so fucking fast. Yeah, I like steady aim. Um, I, I like steady aim on my LMG loadouts. Yeah, yeah, I guess. With like I, yeah. a three round burst, I, I don't do that. Right. Oh, that's a lot of slots. It's just hip fire, holy crap, yeah. Um, I think they originally just had five, right? Or maybe I think you could, you unlock, could unlock 10? six through ten or something by yeah. prestiging. I yeah. mean, that's how they've done it in other games. I don't remember if that was definitely in this one or not. But uh, on the box, yeah. And then uh, in here, so ch yeah, we don't have challenges unlocked, ah. but you know, like the metal system is in here. Okay. Yeah. Um. And yeah, you can prestige. Yeah. So that that's that's this. I mean, you know, should I play one more of these just you're, before we move on to fine. the? All right, let's let's. Get into one of these here. Let's see if we can get a match on downpour. I want to see what that looks like. But overall, it seems like you're feeling like this is what this should be, right? It's just like, hey, it's Call of Duty 4. Yes. You can play it again. Yeah, seems like it, it looks good. It feels good. Yeah, it, yeah. It, that that's how it seems okay, for sure. Good. Um, is that just the? Uh, oh, it's a faction thing. Oh, it's based on. What team you are? Yeah, well, so there are different teams that appear on different maps, like different camo right. loadouts and stuff like that by default. So you get kind of different silhouettes based on that. So I think it's kind okay. of just, you can just look at this stuff if you want. I don't know. Huh. Crossfire, did we already do? Yeah. Genetics kills. Okay. Synetic tires, XX. Old school game. Okay, crossfire, fences. right. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one. It's got that uphill slope. Mm -hmm. and a bunch of, like, shops you can go in. What was the name of the one with the down chopper? Crash. Right. Team Deathmatch. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this AK. I was not much of an AK guy. I wasn't either. It's been a pretty small map, but it's pretty good. A bunch of balconies and stuff you could pick people off from. Yeah. Shoot that watermelon! Okay. Ah, it's really <laughs> fucking up this ladder. <laughs> I wonder how many people uh, had their first experience with multiplayer online with uh, Call of Duty 2. I'd have to imagine a lot, right? Like, it was pretty much my second game I was mm. able to play online. Yeah. I'd right. say Halo 2, but like, I bet a bunch of people didn't get the first Xbox. And yeah. they did get the 360, and Call of Duty 2 was there. Like, you know, people that don't have PCs. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I bet tons of people, yeah, played this type of game for the first time with 2. Stab him. One hit melee kill, as it fucking should be. <laughs> what game could you be talking about that doesn't have that? We'll get into that. Oh, okay. I liked in Battlefield how you could melee kill people with the defibrillator. How are you, AV? Yeah, it's a cool idea. Mm -hmm. And the and the drill? Isn't there like a, a drill? There's you can a do repair that with? a repair tool. Yeah, there's yeah. like an achievement for that for killing. It was like the dentist. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that guy's still there. Mm -hmm. That guy's still there. That's I feel like this game was maybe a lot more about like, oh, that guy is still there than <laughs> some of the other Call of Duty games. People just camping out. 
Yeah, like people kind of staying put and like holding down an area. Like these maps just maybe seem like they were just better suited for some of that stuff. Huh. Do you think nowadays it's more just sprint around and shoot? Yeah. Yeah. I guess that could be for better or worse, depending on how you like to play. Sure. Guy's still there. Mm hmm. Still there. It looks nice. This is it's it's yeah. a, like a nice set of upgrades. It does that thing where it this Ugh. this is how I remember it looking. Sure. Which I think yeah. is a good thing for this type of product. It's like, oh yeah, Call of Duty 4. Where if you went back and actually put it in, I bet right. it would look yeah. not nearly this good. I I remember that with like Wind Waker HD, like playing mm -hmm. that and being like, yeah, this is Wind Waker. This is exactly what it used to look like. And then I put it in the GameCube one. And it was like, oh god, okay. One thing I'll say is that they have changed the dots on the mini-map to these, like, red dots that they've got up there right. from what they used to be, and they're harder for me to see oh. being colorblind. Are there colorblind uh, options? No. That ain't good. Uh, and Infinite Warfare has that same style to its map. I think I was just playing, was it is Battlefield 1? That has colorblind options, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. And, they, and they had really good ones. In, like Infinite Warfare does have a colorblind option, but it, like, it just tinges the entire screen. Oh, weird. Which okay. is like the worst way to do that. I huh. think. Did they not consult with any colorblind people? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe different people have different things they want. Huh. Yeah. All right, maybe we should move on. I feel like you didn't get UAV assist points originally. Like those plus did. tens I'm getting for UAV stuff. I thought you did because I remember every time I got one, just instantly jamming on it, just being like, "Okay, I need to get that." Like, cause it, it went towards challenges. It's like, "Oh, call in like ten UAVs," I think. Well, yeah, but plus I, you would get points for it. I thought. I, I think you would get the hundred points for calling it in, but I really. Wait, so I don't know. We'd have to go back and check, I guess. Wait, you're saying assist? Like, what do yeah, you? Yeah, th those ten points that I'm getting for like I have a UAV up and other people are getting kills. Oh, like uh, that's a thing they added in later games, I think. I'm not okay. I'm not as sure about that. Uh, that's bad shooting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Th this this uh, seems really neat. I don't know how much I'll actually play it. It seems nice, even if it is just like a brief, like, oh yeah, this game's cool. Right. And then, I mean, you don't need to like prestige multiple times to, to remember how, how much fun this was. Oh man. Had that guy. How are you AVs online? Also, I keep trying to run on walls. <laughs> Which has yep. become a bit of a problem lately. I've been trying to do it in Battlefield when I was playing that. Yep. At least you can do it in Infinite Warfare. Yeah, it was, uh, I realized even, even if the outcome is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> I realized after I did it in the campaign of uh, Infinite Warfare, it's like, oh right, I guess I didn't actually know you could do that. I just <laughs> muscle memory from all the Titanfall I've been playing. Yeah. Um, all right, let's move on. Um, so we could do, let's just look at the number of, like what maps are in this thing. So, all right, Ambush, remember that one. Back lot, okay, Bog, yeah, Crash, Crossfire we were just in. District. Was it two that had sh No, no, there it is, Shipment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's shipment. the shotgun match. I, re I remember really playing a whole lot of matches just on Shipment. That's a silly map. Yeah. So this has ten maps in it right now. I think they're adding the rest as a free download free? at some okay. point. I'm not too positive. It had bots. It's bots in here. They have bots originally? I think you could do that, yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah, it? I don't actually know that you could. I thought you could in private, I thought. I could be wrong. Huh. Uh, and then I think this stuff's new. Character patch weapon sticker. I don't, I don't remember that from any other Call of Duty mm, game now that I think no. about it. Uh, alright. Have, uh... Have they said if you're gonna be able to buy this game or download it separately at any point? Right now it is only available if you buy, like, the upgraded edition of Infinite Warfare. Okay. Like, the 
$80 version or something like that. You would have to imagine that. I'm guessing that, yeah, totally. Like give it once, a month or two. Yeah, once they kind of sell all the copies of Infinite Warfare they're going to sell at that price, that they'll yeah. eventually just go like, all right. I can see like January or Now you can give us 30 bucks for this or 20 or yeah. 20 is probably the right price, but I bet they go 30. Yeah. And this is Infinite Warfare from Infinity Ward. Oh. Uh, and Raven. And Raven. And a cast of thousands. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, you know, they did a multiplayer beta for that, and, you know, that's... Uh, yeah, let's, let's start there. I think the campaign is actually the coolest part of this game from what I've played of it so far. I just started it. I'm maybe like 45 minutes in, and it seems pretty cool so far. Yeah. But, but the stuff you're telling me is, is stuff I've not gotten to yet, and that's the stuff that's uh, really intriguing me. All right, so we're, we'll select our active mission up here. It'll be kills with a warfighter payload because we're playing as warfighter right now. Okay. Uh, the creative class here is a combat rig plus a loadout set. It's got a pick 10 system in place. Uh, I actually could take a secondary and have a point free. So let's do that. Lock on launcher. Got to shoot down those UAVs. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's, oh, they've got Terminal 24-7. For the, okay, so this is actually a remake of Terminal from Modern Warfare 2. Oh, okay. The, oh, the airport? The airport. Yeah, I love yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Well, let's see if... That's, see. Yeah, I'd love to see that again. Wait, is it like Space Terminal yeah, now? It's, it's Space Terminal now. Awesome. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, <laughs> let's see if anyone's playing. Okay, all right. All right. Seems like we get enough uh -huh, this for is, a game. That's a cool idea. Yeah, what a good map. Uh, so this is like a bonus map for pre-orders. Oh, okay. Oh, so you have to like go into the separate terminal thing? Yeah, if okay. you want to play it. Yeah. It's like, didn't they do that with like Nuketown 3 mm -hmm. or whatever? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nuketown's fine, but they're, they really not, lean not, hard yeah, on Yeah, not as fine as... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a good idea conceptually, for sure. Right. Yeah, and there's a map fun. in this game that is like 50s fake 50s fair that like, oh. it seems like they're trying to make a new nuke town or something. Huh. It's Let's weird. The yep. This, I, I see the terminal here. Yeah. Team deathmatch. Uh, so this is a lot like last year's Call of Duty. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's got the same kind of wall running and knee slides and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, they've got some additional character abilities that almost seem built to let you try to make it control like something else, but it doesn't go far enough. Huh. Uh, so you can wall run. And you have, like, a double You got that boost meter. Thing. Yeah. I got, you can knee slide. That sort of business. Um, and then it's Call of Duty, you know? Perk systems yeah. and, and pick tens and all this other stuff. And I'm gonna play more, but I, I wound up playing, like, one match of this last night. And the entire, the, the thought I had the entire time was like, all right, this is fine, but I'd really like to be playing Titanfall. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been thinking that a lot? Yes. <laughs> like, it's just similar enough to certain parts of Titanfall that it's just constantly reminding you of Titanfall and how much better that game is. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I don't. I don't want to make this like us just comparing these two games. Right. But it's hard. I mean, um, there are reasons yeah. to, you know. But <laughs> it, I can illustrate the my feeling on the two games and the differences between them. Thus, okay. in Titanfall, when you run on a wall, you pick up speed. In this one, <laughs> you don't, and you kind of just go. Dun, 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 dun. And this game feels so fucking slow. Yeah. Um, Which, by the way, I equipped stem instead of the grapple, and oh my god, you were right. Yeah. Moving real fast feels real good in that game. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> Enemy UAV. This game is just real slow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I killed a guy. Great. Um, so there's, you know, some new gear and stuff like that in here. I've got these grenades that are, you know, grenades. Uh, they change the way the cooking animation looks. That's actually pretty useful, I think. But I've also got this, uh, this thing here that'll pop up this little radar at the bottom there and give me a sense of where enemies might be. That's my, huh. that's my like tactical. And is that a cooldown thing? Uh, or? No, no. Uh, that's like I have one of them. 
Oh, okay. Uh, you can take two of them if you want to, you know, do your loadout that way. Gotcha. Um, it's just one per life? Friendly drone support is active. Yeah, basically. Okay. Oh, animated uh, call signs. Yep. And banners. Do you get to see the weed leaf grow in this one? Uh, you know, I was playing the beta in its second weekend and unlocked just a straight up picture of a bong. <laughs> so they clearly are leaning into that stuff. Sure. Uh, they have been for a while, right? I mean, obviously, right. Like Modern Warfare 2 had fucking blunt force or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> uh, so obviously, you know, that's been... Oh, shit, man. I'm just playing like garbage. <laughs> I, yeah, I just I don't think this game feels great, uh, yeah. and I don't think the, the the movement abilities are like I still think Advanced Warfare is a better game. Yeah, just like those those side dashes and stuff like that just are more tactically interesting. Right. Like this feels like they put in this double jump shit, and then most of the maps just have areas where if you're not wall running, you fall and die. Huh. So it's like, hey, here's an area that you can you know it's like a little shortcut around here to the side. Uh, that if you're wall running, you can you can get over here and do a thing. But like, it, it just feels like a lot of maps have that, and some maps last year had that. And yeah, yeah, I was gonna say a lot in Black Ops Three. I remember because I remember thinking like, oh, I'll just run and see what's on this other side, and then I would just fall down and be like, oh, okay, I guess yeah, I'm right. dead now. Uh, still kind of cool that, that they did a space version of this map. That. They did a good job of this too. Yeah. So like last year's game, uh, when you charge up a meter, you can hit L1 R1 to activate uh, an ability. In this case, it's this weird shotgun thing. Okay. Do the uh, shots ricochet on this thing? I don't think so. I saw an animation for this, and it sure looks like they do. I think they do. Oh yeah, it looks like they might. Yeah. That seems all right. It's a crazy design for a gun that I like yeah. quite a bit. Oh, there's a lot of controller speaker stuff that we're not hearing also. Not a lot, but... Huh. Uh, wait, where am I? All right, let's... Playing against Atom Bomb 93, which I have to assume is Three Mile Island's Atom Bomb. Of course. 93 was his year. Yeah, it was. It was. Cool contacts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was cool. <laughs> oh, all right. Apparently I got blown the fuck up by proper <laughs> missiles. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Here we are on the airplane. Space shuttle. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the way you look determines uh, the... Like, your combat rig determines some of the power-ups and stuff that you can use. Yeah, it seemed um, like there was a rig, like, you could be, like, a robot thing that's built on speed. Yeah, and, and, and yeah. so the, one of the unlockable things for the robot is a side dash that is... Seems like them trying to do something that's like Advanced Warfare, okay. but the recharge on it feels too low, and it just doesn't feel right. Like huh. I, that's uh, that sums up a lot of my feelings about this game. Is like it just doesn't feel right. The movement just feels overly stiff. Yeah, I think some of the decisions they've made recently about this like melee not being a one-hit kill stuff, I think it's just the wrong direction. Like I, I'm just I'm enjoying this game way less for huh. the past two years. Uh, than I did Advanced Warfare and even, the, you know, most of the games before that. I am in the same boat. Um, like, even stuff like Ghosts, which, you know, widely, you know, uh, widely regarded yeah. as one of the weakest Call of Duty games. I, will, uh, I played more of that than I will yeah. probably play of this. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I, I'm just getting to the point where I wonder if I'm done with playing Call of Duty the way I used to play Call of Duty. Unless something major changes. And I know they probably think this is major with it being space and lasers and weird shotguns, but like, it feels like fucking Call of Duty still. Yeah, but I, I mean, like, I think it feels worse than Call of Duty has been in the past, though. I, I, I think it's like, like this is, the last two years of the game I feel like have been a step back. Yeah, yeah uh, me too. And yeah, like, Ghost certainly had its issues, but like, Ghost is the game that I would say, like, well, it still feels like Call of Duty. Like, they've made their changes, but eh. Like, like I was more in that boat back then, whereas now I think I'm a little more like, I don't know that I'm... 
gonna play too much more of this. Huh, okay. I might be kind of close to done with this not long after we finish recording this video. Yeah. But the campaign <laughs> is cool. I like what I've seen so far. Um, all right, let's get out of there and... So yeah, they've got this featured section where they're showing kind of their, you know, some of their other objective modes here. So Frontline looks like it's Team Deathmatch, but you always spawn at your base. Okay. To kind of create almost like a MOBA-esque line that you're pushing, maybe. Huh. Um, I haven't tried it. Uh, Defender, catch the, capture the drone, hold it to upload data and earn points. So kind of a, like a mobile flag kind of thing. Okay. And then, you know, you know what these other modes are. Yep. Gun game. Gun game. Mosh pit. I like gun game. Yeah. All this sort of stuff. So uh, why don't we maybe play, play a game of gun game? Yeah. See one more of these maps here. It's a terrible feeling in gun game where, uh, you know, a certain amount of seconds pass, you know, 45 seconds, a minute or something. Yeah. And you realize like, oh, I still have a bad gun and they all are shooting yeah. assault rifles and stuff yeah, at me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm moving my microphone here. It was rubbing. Is that the fast guy? There's no immediate difference between yeah. the way they feel. I thought it was like optimized for speed or whatever. I think, that's, I that's, I think that's more about their abilities. Ah. Uh, that their abilities are more about that stuff, but I, I guess I don't know for sure. Huh. Um, but that's that's how I've felt so far, is that there hasn't really been a meaningful difference between them. Hmm. I could just be missing something. I won't, I won't great. All right. Oh, yeah, they had the knife that shot the bullet out yeah. for the final one. I think it was Black Ops the first uh, introduced this, or Black yeah, Ops we'll, Two we'll, maybe. We'll shoot out the knife, or just gun game in general. No, that was that we, you could equip that in regular. <laughs> no, I'm saying gun game. I think Black Ops. Oh was yeah, the yeah. First. I think you're right. Might have been. The well, I mean, Counter Strike is the first, but oh, they yes, had one. Yeah. yeah. New objectives have been issued. This guy. <laughs> you can change, um... Uh, where, do I, where would I actually do that? I guess I don't do any of that here. What are you looking to change? Uh, so I'm, I'm a member of the Wolverines now. As you level up, you can unlock different... And it's, it's like an announcer thing. Oh, unlock okay. Different Location confirmed. Huh. This, this guy. Mission confirmed, man. Which one has Snoop Dogg? I'm not sure. Yeah. And then you Definitely can... Deal. Sorry. Ah. Buy uh, blind boxes using keys that you earn from playing, and then you can spend points to buy keys or whatever, and uh, you get scrap and all this other stuff to uh, craft weapons. So there are like additional versions of weapons. Okay. Craft. Uh, that'll have like new. Mission launching in 10. It'll be like a, a new variant of your assault <laughs> rifle that gets like plus four to reload time or something like that. It's, it's all. It's, it's, it's a standard progression. You're not like choosing what you put onto it beyond like the standard like loadout stuff of I choose to put this scope on it. Right. Or huh. Mission launching in ten. This area seems kind of based on uh, the early part of the campaign, which I, I thought that was a cool looking place to start the game. Yeah, to just be in on Europa or just be like, hey, by the way, here's a moon of Jupiter. Like, oh, oh, is that what it is? Oh shit. Oh, cool. Like it's just a crazy, huh? Yeah, like that's a cool looking level and like a, a fascinating way to start. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the mission afterwards is pretty, pretty solid too. Like. Like oh, is that where you're on Earth, the, the Geneva stuff? Uh, so the, the Fleet Week stuff yeah, happened, yeah, 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 and now yeah, right, right. I just landed my ship in space. I had a space battle, yep. and then I landed the ship up there. Man, I just... I'm running too much, I'm not focused, I'm just playing like fucking garbage. Do you get gravity grenades in this? Because they seem pretty alright. I don't know if you get them in the multiplayer. Uh-huh, uh, the anti-grav grenades. I like those shurikens in Titanfall, the gravity stuff. Oh, the the little gravity well thing. There's I a black the hole fire grenade one. in this. Uh, oh, okay. Same thing. Uh, Sucks in, guys. Uh, I don't know. I used it in a bot match last night and didn't actually get it to do anything. Huh. Is this guy taking bong rips. <laughs> Mr. Pillow Pants. Oh, 
losing this fight. It seems like they've been moving towards spacey stuff uh, in the last few Call of Duties. Uh, and this one is just full blown. Like, this is a space game. Right. I mean, this game, like, I don't, I don't even know what year this game takes place anymore, and it doesn't matter because it's so fucking far gone. Yeah. Uh, um, like, you know, you're. You're flying around the solar system in this game. Yeah. Quickly. You're, you're faster than light, one might say. Yeah. Uh, so the, yeah, the, but also, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get to the campaign when we get to the campaign, <laughs> but. <laughs> Is there any kind of a uh, mode with the, like, you know, Titanfall style, like lots of AI? No. You know, no, nothing like that? No. I guess they've never, they've never done anything like that in Call of Duty, have they? I'd be with curious AI? to see, no. yeah, I'd cu be curious to see their take on it, because I really do like that in Titanfall. Some of these weapons have like a whole triangle to toggle. And yeah. Like multiple modes, like SMGs that are also shotguns and uh, some, I, some interesting stuff like that. I found that that can throw me off at times because I don't necessarily remember, you know, because you have two guns and I don't necessarily know right away which, right. if I'm holding the one that will toggle. So if you do it and it's not a toggle gun, it just goes to your next gun, you know? Oh, right. Again, some of them will have it so the, the scope just goes away and yep. you aim it like sideways. Alright, alright. Future guns! Doing what future guns do. Yeah, some of them are like, it, it'll tell you in the campaign, like, oh, this is a ballistics ammo type, or this is an energy yeah, ammo type. Like it's kind of an interesting concept, like, in the oh. in the campaign, like, as you pick up weapons, you then gain the ability to 3D print them on your ship and use them in future huh. missions. Cool. Which is kind of cool. Uh, like, a, co a cool way to frame that stuff, like unlocking weapons for your loadout and shit. Huh. Uh, there's cosmetic upgrades for all of these different rigs as well. Uh, a lot of those are tied to challenges, so it'd be like, you know, specific use of like, hey, you did this while equipped with this rig, so you get this. Alright. Grow from this. Grow from this. This guy's voice just makes me crazy. <laughs> Need your eyes on this. Man, so Why don't you change your faction or whatever? Uh, because you have to unlock him. Oh, okay. So, That's the only guy you can be now? Yeah. Uh, so I can... Mission teams. There we go. So there are, there are other ones, but until I hit level 15... Ah. Which I might not do. <laughs> um, yeah, you kind of can't do it. So yeah, you know, you unlock helmet for, hey, activate the payload 50 times, which is your special thing. Right. Um, is that still L1, R1? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then you've got the, whatever your payload is, uh, which, you know, rewind for the robot. Ah, right. Fast melee mode. Uh, these weird dual machine guns that I've, not found to be great. Uh, and then rush down is the advanced warfare style. Okay. Like click the stick while in the air or sideways or something like that to try to get a quick move. Gotcha. But it doesn't feel like it goes as far or or that you can do it as frequently as advanced warfare. Uh, I tried it out in a private match. It, yeah. <laughs> you know, kill streaks, that yep. sort of stuff. Uh, the pick 10 loadout lets you do things like, oh, let's take more perks and less guns and more guns, less, you know, like all, or, all the stuff that you expect. A bunch of attachments on one uh, gun. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. All, all the stuff you expect from, from that stuff is there. Huh. Uh, let's get into the campaign. Sure. So this campaign has a hub and side missions and like it, it seems cool. It, it's also like just really weird, uh, but it, it's maybe the most ambitious campaign they've ever done for a Call like, of Duty game. More so than uh, Black Ops 2? Yeah. 
Because I, I think so. I really liked that. They got kind of bold with the Black Ops Two stuff, with making choices. The, the, and uh, I guess the branching stuff was was kind of a a, a, a big thing. Uh, and they they tried the stronghold stuff, right. which I know that was not great, and I didn't like it. It was just broken. It lost, yeah, especially yeah. like maybe they fixed that later. But, like, but but the fact that they were trying totally new things, I, I liked. Yes. and I, I wanted to see more bold decisions like that. And I don't think future entries delivered on that. No. So this is a different thing. Uh, in a lot of ways, and you know, like this is our ship. We're the commander of this ship. Uh, through some turns of events, you are now running this big fucking capital ship. What's our target, Captain? Uh, you fight for Earth. Cool. And so it's like the classic story of frontier settlers in space hate Earth. Everyone must fight. Okay. In space. Um, which is actually kind of the Titanfall story. Um, <laughs> and. Yeah, so we're on the bridge here, and we can Apply just course on your orders, sir. Kind of go to this map and pick a mission. Tigris is setting and up. Figure out what we want to do. Flight fair and safe travels. Pick a mission. To you as well, Captain Reyes. And so there's a set progression of main missions, but then you are also given side missions along the way. Uh, so this is our this is our main the mission. mission has also become can you do like patrol missions? No, well, so no. It seems like they break down into a couple of, of things, and they're all centered around like space flight for the most part. Okay. Um, where we can, where which ones of these have I not done yet? Here we go. We got one over here now. Ajax Squadron over Titan. That's kind of cool. So is that a story one? No. Okay. Oh, and success probability. I wonder if that's based on your current like loadout. Yeah. So you that? see here, I'll get the focus perk for completing this mission. Okay. And there are two most wanted targets in this mission for me to kill as well. Okay. Um, this is a jackal strike, so we're, that means we're going to be in the space jet for the duration of it. All right. Uh, so why don't we go do some flying? This seems cool. Set the Ajax are refueling on the surface of Titan. Am I close to this? After if the, I yeah, just got to the ship, okay. Mons, they won't expect us back there. Element of surprise is on our side. Let's move in for a strike. Uh, so then, before every mission, you go build a loadout. Since the, since we're not going to be getting out of our ship uh, for this one, it doesn't have us pick guns. Uh, but you can equip two weapons. Okay. For the ship. Uh, for your for your fighter, and uh, I'm gonna take the whole upgrade. Does it stick with the like, hey, this gun is the fast uh, kind of anti-ship thing, and this is for the like really pummeling like a huge, huge yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. Like here's here's this is kind of your your light weapon. This is your heavy, and okay. then it's a matter of like, do you want more power but more heat, or do you want a faster fire rate that less heat? You know, right. like like kind of basics around that. Yeah. Can you be an AC-130? No. But like. There are stealth missions that take place in an asteroid field in this game, and you're out, you're not in this this ship. You're out floating around, hiding behind rocks with a sniper rifle. Like, okay. this, game, this game is fucking crazy. Huh. Like, you were captain for a minute there. Is there you, uh, you do a lot of stuff. <laughs> are, is any of it optional, or do you pretty much have to do everything to progress? I don't think you have to do any of this stuff. So it's just got bonus side stuff that's kind of cool and, and crazy? You'll, and you'll get perks and bonuses and stuff for doing them. But okay. it seems like you could just charge through. And, and maybe it has a different ending. I, I, I don't actually know one way or the other about that stuff. That's cool. Uh, but this stuff has been good and short enough that I've wanted to do all of them. It doesn't just feel like filler? Yeah. So some of them are pretty basic. You know, it's like, just get out here and blow up these ships. Hey, you won. Now, was there supposed to be PSVR support? Uh, that's a separate thing, but yes. Okay, so it's not like, hey, flying mission, you've got E-Valkyrie controls. No. Eyes on multiple airships, counting five. Clear to engage, light them up. Okay, so we're going to do this in an atmosphere this time, and not in space. That's kind of neat. Looks good. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, good frame rate, nice looking game. What do we got here? Some of this stuff just gets a little overly... Some of the space flight stuff, the, these dogfighting things, get a little overly hectic. So we can pull back on the left stick and hover, uh, so okay. you can kind of just circle strafe around stuff. Do you have to be holding in back all the time, no. or are you just like bringing the speed down? No, you just bring the speed down and, and kind of go into hover mode. You see up there at the top that I am in hover mode right now. Ah, I see. So it seems like this is a big part of the campaign, not just like... What was it, Halo Reach or Halo 4, where right. I had the, like, one mission or whatever? No, like, yeah, you spend a lot of time doing this, okay. uh, which is not what I expected at all, but it's kind of cool. I mean, this stuff isn't amazing, you know, it's not, you're not gonna, 
You're not going to compare it to like a, a proper like flight sim right. or arcadey, or even like know. an Ace Combat. Or yeah, something, like your right? controls feel a little mushy, a little limited. It doesn't feel perfect, but uh oh, it feels less on rails than like the few times in the campaign exactly. in the past. It's yes. been like, hey, you're in a jet. Yeah. Though even in the in the past few oh shit in the past few games they have had this type of flight, just not to more, this extent. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Uh, so this game has like a deck of 52 in it. Okay. Um, of aces and other kind of meaningful pilots and stuff like that. Wait, is there actually like aces and kings and queens and mm -hmm. jacks? Oh yep. man. All right. Uh, that you can go in your office and see. Um, so in these missions, sometimes you'll see an ace, like a, an ace pilot, and he'll have a name and you'll kill him and then go back to the board and go, oh, yeah, that guy's dead. And there's like a red X over his face or something? Yeah, something like that. Uh, it's grayed out or something. Okay. Like, it's not a huge part of the game, uh, but it is in there. Wait, we need to take out some of these smaller guys before I start going after these larger ships. How does it checkpoint in these type of missions? It seems like it'll just kind of occasionally checkpoint. Okay. I don't know, I have not died in the ship yet. Okay. This almost seems like the levels in Star Fox 64 where it wasn't on rails, you know? Oh, like simple, yeah. but fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just like, here's an arena filled with oh, stuff wow. to there lock we go. onto. We'll see what happens. All of the, like, death quotes in this game are just, like, things saying, hey, the bad guys are really bad. <laughs> the bad guys in the right. game are super bad. <laughs> like, all right. Let's... And, uh, Kit Harrington? He's a, is he a big part of the campaign? Jon Snow? I don't from, know. I from don't. the Game of Thrones? He has a mustache. I don't know who that is. I, I, so he's in, in the first in, mission. In the game. He is uh, on on the snow. I don't want to give too many like story details. Oh, is he, is he Koch or Koth or whatever? I think so. He talked to me and was mean to me okay. in the yeah. snow. Okay, he's the, he's the main bad guy. Oh, okay. For as far as I can tell. Okay. Do you get a lot of screen time? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm like two missions into this thing. I don't oh, know. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. Like, I'm, I've played a lot of side missions, but... I've only done, like, since I've gotten to this map, I've only done one main mission. Oh, okay, wow. So we're just kind of locking onto these different, or targeting these different parts of the ship, and... Alright, let's, let's actually just fire missiles at this fucking guy. Do you always have flares? Uh, if you use them too much, you'll see it says no flares up there. But I mean, there's not like a but loadout they, they or charged. a ship where no, you don't no, no, have no, them, right? No. Okay. It seemed pretty critical. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. I just, this is the... Alright. Are you just on the standard difficulty? Yep. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. Raj, let's give me. Raj. Raj. There's a lot of military talk in this game that like, it's, so it's weird because like this game is like a fucking Halo prequel. Because <laughs> it's about space marines. Right, right. Literally space marines. <laughs> and, and you know, you're, you're part of the space navy and so it's like petty officers and all this military talk and XOs and, and all this shit. Has anyone said stay frosty? Not yet, okay. but in the first couple of minutes of this game, someone says Oscar Mike. Okay. And it is like full of that type of military talk, huh. which like feels like a weird relic now. I feel like, you know, there was the era of like, post like what, like Generation Kill or something where <laughs> every piece of military fiction like talked like that. Hurt Locker. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, it feels weird to A, get a game that is full of that again, and B, have it take place in space. <laughs> Huh. I mean, they wouldn't, like, invent new space words just because they're in space. No, you're, you're right. Well, actually, I mean, I would hope that they would actually invent new space words instead of referring to these big, like, spaceships as tubs and, like, using a lot of, like, Navy talk. What would I you, think it's weird. What would you call a spaceship? A, a cool term for a spaceship. Spaceship. <laughs> I guess we already have a word for that. That sounds weird. Oh, this is the Navy's most prestigious spaceship. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, you could call it a cruiser. I mean, the, okay. that, that, is, that is also kind of Navy words, but <laughs> like words that seem to fit a little better, I guess. I don't know. I, I just, I wonder when, when we finally get to a point where we are fighting horrible wars in space, <laughs> will it be a space Navy? Yeah, there should be a new word. I think Navy, I think water. Yeah. All right, we gotta fucking, this, I'm not playing well here. This is not going great. You're dying. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what changed, if this mission's just harder than others, but. Hmm. I mean, um, should but, you be able to gauge that based on the success probability? I, I would have thought so, but there, that one was, it was still up there. It was like 94 or something. Yeah. And are you just uh, recharging like, you know, you do in the, the campaign? Just regenerating health? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's try and make sure we're taking these guys out. Damn it. Here we go. Uh, uh. I'm just banging around on this stuff. Like... All right, we're out of missiles, which should mean that we can get some. There we go. This little buddy's going to come give us some missiles. Boy, they throw a lot of abilities at you real early on in the campaign. Yeah, like, hey, do. mind control a robot. All right, right make that yeah. robot blow up. All right, call in your crazy jackal stealth bomber to shoot everything. Like, it's kind of overwhelming, but in a cool way. Yeah. It's like, oh, I guess I pressed that D-pad button and this fucking crazy thing happens. Yeah, you are, you are kind of doing a lot of cool shit. Uh, all right, let's try and get this guy at least. Does that take over robot brains thing uh, pop up a lot in the campaign? Uh, it's just a loadout option, so okay. you can just kind of take those hack, uh, the hack tools with you or whatever. Huh. Do I start back at the, that last big ship that I blew up? Okay, the checkpoint since then. Great checkpoint spot. Yeah, right. Oh, I don't have any fucking missiles. All right, I need to focus more on making sure I'm letting out flares when there's missiles heading my way. use missiles to get rid of these fuckers instead of trying to dogfight them dogfight them okay is there an easy way to just ascend and descend uh, X and O oh okay three to like basically sprint or like boost in your ship. Yep. Just like you would sprint, right? Right. Yep. Can you juke missiles well, or is it mainly just like, hey, do the flare? No, it's, it's do the flares. Okay. It's, well, you can't really juke per se. You, you know, I can try to thrust and boost away from stuff. And You're not doing like a big 180 in the air to, no. to throw them off, right? Yeah. No, so it feels like a little simplistic in spots where yeah. I have this kind of like almost like a VTOL situation of like I can just stop and just right. shoot people. Yeah. All right. Two aces. Oh, okay, so now we got a couple of aces uh, to knock off our board here. Oh, this is the bad guys here? Yeah. 
So when I'm locked on like this, I'm really just kind of handling the aiming. Uh, it'll it'll fly for me almost. How are you? Like, do you have to press something to go into autopilot or something? L2. Uh, so as soon as you lock onto a target, huh. there's that guy's face. I just killed that oh, guy. Oh, Sergio. Where's that guy go? Don't think that ace is taken care of yet. Who has the rights to mercenaries? EA. Okay. Damien Damien also done. Don't they have eject buttons? I'd shoot too fast. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just use the rest of my missiles here, because... Boom! Oops, oops. Yeah, I was, I was not paying attention there. So if they shoot you when you don't have players, like, are you just screwed? I I think they might just not shoot you as frequently if you don't have players. Oh, really? I'm not sure. That explosion is pretty satisfying. Yeah, it's a nice looking explosion. It's really fiery, and then it's just gone. Yeah. Ethan's your robot friend. Ethan's oh yeah, I think I met him. Yeah. Ethan's a good boy. He's a fun robot. <laughs> is this gonna be like landing in Top Gun? Way easier. Okay. Retribution is ready for you, sir. Tower, this is 1 1. We're on approach. Roger. Jackals are clear for landing. 1 1. Line up for drone assist, Captain. Gears out for baton. Lock is good. Welcome back. So that's that whole mission. Okay. Um, so we get a Pretty perk simple. and we, you know, we, we eliminated two more. Uh, like high value targets. Do you get new perks and stuff as you like, oh, you've knocked out eight high value targets. Now you get this perk. Like, no, what there's, do you there's get some stuff those? you unlock for completing operations. So there are things that will unlock just by virtue of you doing a bunch of these okay. as well. Um, but it's not necessarily about that. You'll get some occasional news. Huh. Infinity War. Sato forces backed by Scarlet airstrikes have destroyed the settlement defense front's primary fuel. We did that. I remember that. Yep. Boom. Big robot. <laughs> were killed in the ground you get a mech? No, it's a robot. Oh. Uh, you fight them occasionally. You can jump on top of them to do more damage. Okay. Something, huh. something with the trophy data in this game refers to as rodeoing. Weird. That, that's an interesting term for that. Yeah. Are mechs like Pacific Rim things that you get inside and robots are just, yeah. you don't get inside a robot? Yeah. Okay. What are Titans? Are they're Titans mechs? mechs? Yeah, they're mechs. Okay. I was on level three when the first volley hit. I didn't know. You all right? It's a good looking microwave. Does it have a popcorn button? This yeah, is, it does. This is a space microwave. Yeah, still got a popcorn button. This microwave is up in space with us. Yep. Z Cafe model. Space technology has advanced quite a bit. <laughs> Microwaves, apparently not. <laughs> I mean, they pretty much do the job, right? I guess. It seems How like, would you improve a microwave? Uh, you would make it work way faster. You I would, guess. Uh, you would make a, a food thing that just spit out the food already hot. Uh, there's a lot of food technology that we could be getting into that would replace this fucking thing. I mean, the longest you had to put something in the microwave is like eight minutes for this a This looks like someone stokers. went to the Target and dropped like 80 bucks on the cheapest microwave they had. Uh, 80 is a bit expensive for a microwave. Fair enough. I gotta get rid of my microwave. You wanna give me 80 bucks? Nope. No? I have two microwaves already. What if you had three, though? No. Definitely putting in the rec for one of these. I would also think that VR technology would be better <laughs> in the future. Yeah. That's wireless, right? I guess so. Yeah, I guess it's wireless. I mean, that, that is better.
So this different VR thing, uh, is this a, like gonna be a separate download thing? Yeah, or it's so. not on, it's not in this game? No, there's an entry in the store uh, when you're going to the store to look at like season pass purchases and stuff like that, it just says Jackal VR. Huh. I think that's just a mission that they just built for. Like an Eve gun jack or something? Uh, maybe, yeah. Ooh. So. Yes. So yeah, you know, like, like real life, uh, they built this deck of cards. Excellent. With, uh, with these guys on it. Um, you know, you kind of learn some things about them. Uh, you know, you like some of these people you don't know anything about until you've killed them. <laughs> it's the best time to learn about someone. Yeah. Like, what's this guy about? Don't know. Is he still alive? Probably kill him. Yeah, we should probably kill him and find out. Um, yeah, so, you know, I've been going through and taking these guys out. And then this is... There's this guy. Oh, yeah. John Snow. Is that, that's the, this is the Game of Thrones guy? Yeah. Okay. All right. And there's this guy, which he's another dude. Right. You meet him pretty early, don't you? Yeah. So we don't even know anything about this guy. But this guy? Done. Mm. Done. Um... So some of those missions, some of the side missions, do have you like get out of your ship, and sometimes you'll board an enemy craft and take it out from within, or huh. steal a prototype weapon, or you know, there's kind of What's stuff that you, you're kind of getting along the way. Can I just go down? So this unlocked after I did the last mission, or I went down there as part of a cutscene, but I'm not sure if I can actually just go to the armory. It looks like no, hmm. which is weird because it says when you return from a side mission and you've unlocked stuff, it says visit the armory to find out more, and I don't know that you can. Weird. That's not like a, a pause menu thing. You can't go well, to the Well, I can pause somewhere. and I can at least see the suit upgrades. Oh, okay. And you go to the armory when you start a new mission, so you see it there, but I just wonder if there's a way to check. So I think I just got blast. No, I just got focus. You're right. That's what it was for the last one. Uh, I see in the bottom left it's doing something that I want every game to do, oh, which yeah. Naughty Dog has done that with Uncharted and Last yeah, of Us, the, knowing when the last goddamn save. save was. Yeah. I, that's an easy thing. Everyone should do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so why don't we go on a proper mission here? All right. Uh, I guess, and though, though I, just, I feel like I want to just complete all these. Uh, <laughs> Operation Dark Quarry is just outside Mercury, Captain. Ninety-two percent quick swap. Assess mining facility. Seems easy. Here's the lay of the land. This is Vesta Three, mining colony. Provides us with all the raw materials we need to rebuild the fleet. Today's shipment never left port. Prox 1800, Vesta HQ went dark. All attempts to make contact have since failed. What's their security package? Mechanized. Bots guard the facility. Our mission is to assess what happened and report back to the Admiral immediately. Special recon. It's throwing us an easy one. Don't be so sure. What do we got? The asteroid's not where it belongs, sir. Its orbital path is well off its natural course. I've got a radiation trail. Where does it lead? Toward the sun, ma'am. How close? Just Dangerous. outside the operational boundary, mm. Captain. Our equipment can handle it? If repairs from the blowout hold, I can wrestle it in. Let's go for it, Captain. You heard the man? Let's drop. All hands, drop stations. Collision alarms up. Drive is pulled. Ship is prime. We're set. Take us out, Gator. Jump in three, two, one. The beginning of the game, this ship gets pretty fucked up. Yeah. So as you're kind of going through this stuff, you're always left with the feeling that this thing might just shake apart. Radiation's increasing. Steady as she goes. Here comes the drop. So those ships, uh, when they show them early in the game, uh, are huge. And you know, obviously it's Call of Duty. It's running 60 frames a second. Like it's pretty impressive looking. Like that early yeah. sequence. Yeah. Where's the asteroid, Gator? Coordinates were in intercept course. Vesta 3 should be right there. Confirmed. Vesta 3 directly off the bow. Matches velocity. We're following it. Stellar flying, Gator. Nice work, everyone. Bosun, tell Omar to get his team on the flight deck in three. Gator, get a Raven set. You got the con. Salt, you with me. You know it. Are you Gator? No. Where are we? What are we doing? Oh, right. Do we go over here? Yeah. How are you feeling, Raider? What was the official council? On what? The Olympus attack. How many did we lose? Sixteen. <sighs> you heard what Max said. Is that a celebrity? Easy. Don't know. I have not soon. recognized anyone in this game. Drew said there's a race car man in the game. Louis... Louis Hasselman? All right. 
Captain? Chief decided to stop by. She's been working on a present for you two. Got your rig over here if you don't mind, sir. Watch this. Oh, nice. Acquisition drive, fourth revision, it shoots. You like those seeker grenades? Chief center element. Um, oh, the little spider drone things? Yeah, yeah they're all right. <laughs> like just throwing like four of them over a thing and just hoping yeah. they're just, you know, giving people trouble. So you find upgrades for those things in missions where you find little terminals that give you weapon upgrades, and so I've got those things to a point where I can just look at a guy and it'll definitely target that guy. Oh, cool. Which is kind of okay. cool. Are they little terminals you can find? Like like in Doom, you could find those things. You're like, all right, I'm gonna pick an upgrade here. Or yeah, be granted, no, it, be granted it, it's an upgrade. A, it's a computer screen inside the armories you find in some of the side missions and stuff. Okay. Uh, so they'll recommend a loadout to you. Um, I actually like this uh, this this weapon here. So I've unlocked a lot of these by picking them up in missions. So as soon as you pick a, you know, it says scan required there. So if I find t a Titan in a mission, I pick it up. It'll be added to this list. Gotcha. Um, but you know, not that many weapons. Um, all right, we'll go with this Type 2. What's What do we have on it here? Scout scope, sure. Foregrip, particle lamp. Yeah, why not? If that's what they're recommending, who am I to say otherwise? Trojan foregrip fusion mag. Yeah. This is a sound shotgun, a sonic shotgun. Hmm. They I, have those now, don't they? Yeah, I think so. I didn't, I, not, not shotguns, but like yeah. tank things. That I did not find this to be super useful when I found it, but I found it, so... Added it to my list. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, stick with that. What do we got? Tactical. We got a hacking device. We got this ATAD thing. Sure. Trophy system. All right. Anti grab grenade, shocker. See that V1 under it. Oh, uh, okay. It means that you can, uh, you know, as, as you upgrade them, they become more effective. Or so whatever. that becomes a, a permanent thing going forward, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It seems like they give you good reasons to do side missions. Yeah, they do. And it seems like they're not terrible to do. Yeah, so. they've, it's been neat to feel like you've got uh, some options about what you do next. And then those missions are a little more bite-sized, and then these are theoretically a little bit more involved. Okay. Let's get it on, Raider. How does an asteroid get that far off course? Let's go get that answer. <laughs> We're not rocket scientists. Want to bring the chief? Meh, I vote no. Boss, what do you call a fighter pilot in a rainstorm? Tell me. Dry as a bone. Words of wisdom, Lieutenant. Huh? Your Raven's up on Bay 2. Staff Sergeant and his men are waiting for you and the captain. Thanks, boss. Blair's will wreak havoc on your avionics. Bring yourselves back in one piece. You got it, boss. All right. Yep. Yep. Kashima, you're my co-pilot. Never out of fight. Yes, ma'am. You want to tight? Still standing, Staff Sergeant. That's the way. Some of these faces look really good. Yeah. Strong bastard. This is our window, Raider. Come on up. Oh. We're right on target. Get a salt or go green. Boosters in three. I've never had to do that exact like mission start sequence before. Huh. Interesting. You said you've only done a couple of the like main big ones though, right? Yeah, this is kind of like the second mission, the second main mission you get as soon as you get access to the the galaxy map. Ah. Stop talking, Cash. That's an order. Asteroid rotation's fluctuating. About a minute, give or take. That's a hundred times normal spin. Let's get a look at the day side. Roger. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. We got a beacon. No, nobody could have survived this. We don't know that. The facility's toast. Let's get back to base and report to Rains. We should find a place to land. That is not advisable. Staff Sergeant. You pick your mission, Captain. Don't let it pick you. We're going down there. Search and rescue. Hi, sir. I see a hangar up ahead. We can set down inside out of the sun. Do it. Roger. Forcing down. Who's 
Do you see yourself? Yeah, that was me. That's given the orders in that cutscene. The Tom Cruise looking dude? Sure. Okay. So with this thing, if I... Oh. I can split it into... Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Captain. A lot of spots where you're just like shooting out windows and making people fly out into space, and okay, killing them that way. And cool, nice cycles coming back around any second. We have to move in the shade, there's no other way. Shoulders right, all the panels across the way will give us the cover we need. Here's our window. Would you go to space? Sure, you would. Richard Branson kicks in this door right now and says, Hey, I'll take you right now. Do you get in? Like, it's now or never. Uh, you'll be back by uh, nighttime tonight. He's just gonna take you up, fly around the Earth once, and then land you. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'd you probably do it? Do okay. Yeah. I don't know if I trust Richard Branson's operation. I think I would. Fully, yet. No. Let's keep eyes on, use it to our advantage. This is nuts. You guys hear that? On the source of our beacon. I got caught outside. The dude is well done. Guys, this guy's in the structure. I'm making that airlock. I'm going down. Let's press. This is kind of a neat idea. Yeah, and this looks really good. On you, Corporal. I love that they've never wavered on the 60 frames a second thing. Yeah. It looks so good. This seems like a crazy thing to be doing. Yeah, you shouldn't do this. Like if Richard Branson says I'll take you to space, but we're doing this for the next couple hours, I would probably say no, Richard Branson. Yeah, I agree. Airlock's running on backup. Triggers in an emergency. Yeah, well, I'd say this qualifies. Let's keep moving. On you, Captain. So here's kind of a, a door mechanic. I can throw a grenade in here, I can just lean it open, or I can hit circle to kick it open, and then you get kind of a slow motion Call of Duty breach sequence. Right. Yeah, I didn't make it very clear that you, you would get that, that slow motion yeah. sequence. So like, I didn't know what the benefit of kicking was. Like, oh, if there's a guy on the other side of the right. door, he'll get hit or something. Oh. There's a guitar. Looks like a quake hit or something. Take more than that to knock this place out of orbit. Jeff Jarrett's been here. Yeah. Space Jarrett. Damn you, Space Jarrett. <laughs> crew quarters. Find anything? No crew. Uh, but yeah, there's been like stealth missions and stuff in this game. It, 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 there's like a good variety to this campaign, and it's interesting. That's really good to hear. And it's been it's been fun enough to play. Like you know, I, I, you know, a lot of the same stuff I think about the multiplayer. I think applies. Where like you know, the wall running's not not that fun. Uh... Well, by you saying it's interesting and it's actually doing something different, that makes me infinitely more interested in this than like I started Battlefield One. Right. And it's just like, it seems fine. It controls fine, it looks great. Uh, but it just seems to be that same like linear campaign that we've just seen a million times in these games. Yeah. And like, by virtue of this being different, the way it's structured, that makes me want to play this way more than Battlefield. Mm -hmm. Looks that way. Bastard. Hey Reyes, come check this out. I don't think these two were getting along so well. Maybe Ethan was right. You mean about those things turning? Are their own security bots turned on them? They can't do that, right? Keep it tight. Breathers on. Scan your sectors. We're looking for survivors forward in this position. On me, Reyes. Right behind you, Fever. 
Got your gravity grenade on R1 and that new drone thing on L1. Yeah, and then I can hit left and right on the D-pad to swap those out. So ah. you kind of pick two things for each. Okay, uh, cool. For each one. Is that something you unlock, or do you have like no, two that, spots? You have from the two beginning? spots from the beginning. Think anyone's left to rescue? Let's hope so. Oh. Guard box on Powers up! Alive! Oh. This is kind of neat. Yeah. This is a neat idea. Hey, you guys, maybe shoot the fucking robot that's killing me. <laughs> I was worried about shooting robots before this came out, but it seems fun to shoot these robots. Yep. I could jump into this anti-grav grenade as well and fly up here and shoot if I wanted to. <laughs> There's a trophy for doing that. Do you have to kill like a bunch in one mid-air thing? No, it's just one. Oh, okay. Twelve o'clock. Yikes. Ooh. Didn't you say something about there being guns here? All right, here we go. There's ammo. I feel like I'm perpetually looking around for... Uh, they'll, they'll draw outlines around guns you haven't scanned yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh, that's cool. Is that when it pops up, that little, like, yeah. tooltip thing? Are we going? What are we doing? Alright, so we gotta hack this door, so now we have to wait for this meter to fill up. So, survive until... Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, call out one of these things. Alright. So okay. is that just operating on its own? Yeah. Well, that seems handy. It's like a Mr. Zircon in reaction. Yeah. Playing. Oh, those are my own guys up there, huh? Oh, well. I wonder if I had taken, like, the hack to... Oh, do, uh, I do have it. Don't I? Yeah, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, the takeover robot thing? Yeah. Hack at 62%. Oh, dear. Blow him up. Get in there. Get right in the thick. Yes, yes! Oh. Oh, that's tremendously satisfying. <laughs> yeah, you see all the damage awesome. you caused. And the way they crawl after you, like Terminator yeah. style, is pretty cool, too. That noise. Oh, wow, that was the right time to use that hack. Yeah. All right, door's almost open. Let's 
coming. Stop. Too many crickets. That door seems like it's open. There you go. a little more of this and then we'll take a look at the zombies mode which I have not yeah. seen at all okay infinity ward zombies yeah right yeah dark day yeah why is it spec ops and the game why haven't they ever brought that back yeah. it's so good yeah, maybe they'll do modern warfare 2 remastered okay that looks crazy that looks awesome <laughs> Holy shit. Close. Landing area over the mine. You were right, Captain. So I'll get back to Raven 1. I want you on the X for evac. Roger. I'll brief the red on what we know so far. Check. Listen up. We're getting those people out of here. Molly's just ahead of us. Straight show. Let's move. Alright, let's move on. Alright. Uh that, that, that all seems cool. Yeah. Like that, that makes me think that I'm gonna probably finish up that campaign. Uh it, it looks really interesting. I've had a good time with it so far. Uh, uh, okay, so they've got like an 80s theme thing going on. Okay. It's like Pee Wee Herman and, and David Hasselhoff and stuff. I don't okay. know. Okay. Um, uh, all right, so it's got weapons from the rest of the game in here. I mean, I'll say this. As much as I don't like zombies, they, they put out $60 worth of content in these Call of Duty games. You know, even the, the core base thing. Like, you're getting a lot of game. Yeah, I think so, too. Now, we're going to not do a solid with these guys by starting a zombies game and then not finishing it, but <laughs> it'll be okay. Yeah, Captain Epic Champ will do all right. It, it was just always so obtuse. Like, this stuff, it's just like, okay, take the wig off the mannequin and put it in the wood chipper, and then you'll activate a train that takes you to the mall. Or, like, it's just... It seems, ever made it, seems like, it seems like this is still that, largely. Like, like, that there are trophies that make it look like it's like, get a soul key and do this with this. And, and like, yeah, all right. like I like you know weird little Easter eggs and stuff, but if you make a whole mode based on weird, obtuse Easter eggs, it's not fun. I just I And think, zombies are dumb. I think zombies are lame, yes. and I, I think that, well, I'm, you know, if this guy's the weapons from the campaign, maybe it'll be a little bit better when they come up with all their corny-ass weapons that they throw in these things. I think we're somehow inside the film. Zombies in space land. I think I'm gonna be sick, yo. I know, right? Your clothes. Ugh. <gasps> My clothes. Ugh. Okay, you dweebs better get it together. I think we got more coming. Hmm. Welcome back to the 80s. Ah, and what a marvelous time it was. You know, they just don't make horror movies like they did back then any longer. I'm certain we can fix that! No. Oh. Alright. Oh, so it's the old hold-in square to watch boards go into a window. Yep. Uh, and a lot of limited ammo, and, you know, yeah. like, like all that same sort of stuff. Which, yeah, I just I never really liked it. Nope. By boarding the window. Probably shouldn't turn on the generator. <laughs> right? I mean, that would be. Probably should? Probably shouldn't. Eh, go ahead. Power's good. Sure. Turn in the light when you see a switch, you should flip it. Shine. Definitely. <laughs> Switches are fun. Guys, I restored the power switch. What? Do we look at the switches now? If we want to restore power to the entire power switch. How many of these power switches are we talking here? On my estimation, there must be a switch for each segment of the park. Lame. 
Okay, so this would be to open up and move on. Yeah, this seems like that they've made another zombies mode. Uh, yeah. th this motif seems more interesting than the ones they've done in the past, I guess, like this kind of 80s style thing. That's the, kinda... the movies thing, and like it's a scene instead of a wave, like, sure. Yeah, all right. I just, I feel like so many things have done the, hey, remember the 80s thing? Oh, well, yeah. You know? I mean, definitely. Can you be Goat Boy? What? Can you be Goat Boy? Do you not know Goat Boy? Hey, remember the 80s? The classic Jim Brewer character? That was the 90s. No, it was Hey, remember when, the 80s. But when Jim Brewer was on the show. Was I the know, idea. but Jim Brewer played Goat Boy who hosted Hey, Remember oh, okay. the 80s. Oh, all right. I was not watching SNL. When, uh, not a big Jim Brewer <laughs> fan. How about that? <laughs> all those great Jim Brewer moments. All right, we're out of bullets. Seems bad. Probably. You got money though, right? M1, no. Oh, they opened the gate. Well, maybe there'd be a better weapon up here. Crazy is it that it's still this? It's still these boards going yep. over these windows. That's what this was in like 2008. With all of the stuff they've done around it and and blown it out, it's still like, hey, look at these boards. It's hold square next to the window. Do you think Sledgehammer's gonna have one now that the dam is broke with Infinity Ward doing one? I wonder. Is that just a given now? He's missing his head. I... Is this thing FDIC insured? Let's deposit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. So I can just withdraw. I wonder if that uh, banks cross sessions. I wonder if I can jump at this portal. Nope. I can't imagine that's cross section because that would throw out the balance a ton, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I probably would. Refill your card deck. Uh, so you got cards that you like a loadout of cards that you equip, I guess. Uh, I'm not really seeing how those work. I remember thinking this was a pretty corny idea when they announced it for World at War. And that was 2000. Well, they didn't even announce it. It was like a hidden post credits no. thing for World at War, wasn't it? No. Because like, originally there was just like, hey, here's a level that happens after you finish the game. No. It, and isn't it weird how it's Nazi zombies? No, no. It had gotten out. I don't know if they like did a full like marketing okay. thing, yeah. but like I remember being excited about the game with friends. I mean, like, look at this. They're doing this Nazi zombies mode or whatever before it came out. Yeah. Like, that was. Mm, I thought that was dumb. I remember finding that and not knowing it was in the game uh, when when I was reviewing it or or whatever and just going like, oh, what? Okay. Yeah, yeah I think it may have unlocked after and then when, it or and, something. And then, then when they were like, hey, now we're doing this. I'm like, what? Why? What? Yeah. Like the dumb bonus thing you did that was kind of like whatever. Yeah. That, that's the thing you're turning into a full blown mode. Like, yep. I guess. Armageddon for 50 tickets. Trip mine. Oh, so you get tickets. Okay, so I have zero tickets. Yeah, so a bunch of currencies you can stack up and... Sure. Can I put boards over that or no? Oops, that's a bad shot. That's also a bad shot. What are we doing? No? Alright. Yeah, okay. Well, they put zombies in it, I guess. I don't know. Yep. That's uh, that's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I think the campaign seems really cool, and I'm 
looking forward to seeing more of that. But I just, I think the multiplayer is just kind of boring. That's uh, from what I have played so far. That's those are my first impressions. Yeah, uh, and like the the Modern Warfare Remaster thing, I think is cool and like that's exciting, and I think I'll mess with that a little bit more. But at the same time, why would I get VHS tape fuzz when I go down? <laughs> that's what happened in the '80s when you were dying. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I didn't die in the '80s, so yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't know that. There's a trophy in here for, uh, like, playing arcade games, so I'm wondering if there's anything cool in here. Oh, right. Just Zork again? Yeah. Arcade version of Zork? Yep, yep. The best, the best version, everyone yeah. says. Okay. Card activation. Card selection ready. Top class, scorching skin, mana up. I don't even know what anything to do. <laughs> Zombies mode. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's it for this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll keep moving on campaign. That stuff looks cool. Yeah, that um, stuff does look cool. Uh, the multiplayer stuff. I, I just. Yeah. I don't know. I. I We'll see what Sledgehammer does next year. Maybe that'll be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, I don't know that. I don't know that the multiplayer this year is what I'm looking for. All right. Uh, plus, I think I may have chosen my multiplayer game for the year yep. already. Yep. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.